Uh, well, not decades. The actual dumping uh, will probably start in about two years. So uh, you'd assume uh, early 2023 uh, is when uh, this uh, dumping would begin to take place. Uh, I think uh, a lot of the focus of attention uh, will be on and should be on uh, you know, making sure that the water that is dumped uh, is, uh, is uh, as the Japanese say, uh, having only tritium uh, as its only radioactive isotope. And I think, uh, you know, a lot of transparency and confidence building will also be necessary uh, to carry out this policy with any, any degree of success. There have been lots of countries quick to say they don't agree with this move. What reactions have you been hearing, both from outside and indeed inside Japan? Well, I think, uh, you know, we can all say that, you know, the idea that water that has been pumped through uh, the, the, the melted reactors of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, and then taking that water, even if it's treated, and to put it into the Pacific Ocean, uh, that's not a very good look. Uh, and uh, most people, uh, when they hear that, are, are going to be naturally alarmed. Uh, the, uh, the experts, including independent experts, uh, most of them would agree that, uh, you know, the low levels of tritium uh, being uh, dumped into the ocean isn't uh, as alarming as it sounds because uh, we already have tritium in the oceans from, you know, nuclear weapons tests of the 1950s and 60s and other things. So it's and from other nuclear plants. So it's not exactly that unusual, scientifically speaking. But uh, from a public relations point of view and from a perception point of view, it's, it's a very tough sell. Was there another option, Michael? I mean, it was costly keeping it where it was, wasn't it? And I imagine also a risk to that. Yeah, independent observers say, yes, there was another option, and that's to continue to store it, uh, to build more tanks. The Japanese government has argued that the space which they had to build tanks uh, was coming to an end and, and therefore their hand has been forced uh, most independent experts uh, doubt that, uh, you know, if Japan really, really, really wanted to store it in tanks and to keep it for decades, they could. They just use more space. Uh, so uh, it wasn't the only option, even if that's what the Japanese government says.